A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Right. So, I always start with so, I guess. Been hiking for a while. I actually got on the wrong trail. I did about two and a half miles, a little over two and a half miles before doubling back and finding the trail. I screwed up. Um, but anyways, a little while longer. Not in as good a shape as I'd like to be. But still doing it. But it's beautiful up here. Can hear the birds. I'll show you the top. We're gonna explain my sunburn here in just a second. Um, but Jason is back at it with his Costco ways. It is two o'clock in the afternoon on his day off. I'll explain what we've both been doing individually here in just a second, but Jason is at it for a parking spot. And to be kind, let me show you. He's helping this guy load up his, <laughs> all of his little, um, it's probably just potting soil but he's helping him load it all up. Sorry, got a little bit wonky there. Isn't that nice of him? What a little gentleman. But it's honestly because we want his spot. So, <laughs> it's not a good idea to come to Costco on a Friday afternoon. So, he's right there now. He's gonna go put away his cart for him. I'm gonna snag his spot. We'll find out what the guy thought about Jason going to help him here in a second. But I got sunburned yesterday. You can't see with that arm. You can see with this arm right here. Let me show you. Yep, I got sunburned because finally <laughs> the Seattle UV rate actually like it went high yesterday and I just enjoyed the sunshine on a walk and I got three and a half miles in and I was like, okay, that feels great. I'm gonna go get a drink of water from my car and I got a drink and I was like, I think I can go for another mile or so. So I continued to walk for another, I think, two miles. I was like, oh, okay, I'm tired. I'll go home. And uh, I had nothing else on deck. Um, so I went home and worked on the computer for maybe a half hour. I had changed my clothes but not showered because it was still warm. And um, and then my friend called me. And we're I walked for quite a while. I walked for a few hours. Um, and anyway, so... Then my friend called me and she's like, hey, you wanna go for a walk? I just got off work. I was like, Shh, sure, <laughs> sure. Anyway, so I went back on a walk with her and she was like, I can't believe you've already done six miles. Like, I don't need to go today and or whatever. And I was like, it's fine, it's fine. So we walked for another two miles, um, but just in the time of the day and like just re regular walking around, and whatnot. I ended up doing 10 miles yesterday. So kudos to me, but not to my sunburned arms. Um, but also, so I didn't sleep well last night. I slept in this morning and I got a call for a scan. Oh, there's Jason. <laughs> I'm just starting. Costco or what? <laughs> just, hi, are you bothering me? I am. Are you you're bothering me? What are we doing? Let's go. I know, I'm just starting this. Okay, we'll go. Okay. okay. Um, so anyway, I got up and Went and did a scan and it took all after, <laughs> like it took so long. Um, and they were just so excited to have me there. Um, and so Jason went for a hike before I even got up. Um, and so then he got home right before I got home. So that takes us back to us being at Costco at two in the afternoon on a Friday, which is the worst time to come aside from like maybe Saturdays, which I just don't do. So let's go to Costco and then keep going. Oh, we forgot to film at Costco and unloading. Somehow I was in the bathroom while they unloaded the whole car. Somehow. Uh, pineapple, 
bananas, uh, two things of strawberries. One of them may or may not be for Mother's Day. I'm not in charge. Uh, two things of bagels, because that's what you get at Costco. Then we got, what else did we get? Some more of those mini little gyoza things. They're super good. Are they gyozas? They're like mini gyozas. It's like one pound. What else did we get? Milk. We did not get bread. Sour cream. They now sell these um, oh, packets at Costco. It's a two pack for $4, which is a killer deal. So I don't have to go to Target and get them instead. We do need to go get like Fair Life and stuff, but I'm sure tomorrow Ashley will want something to do um, tonight. She'll be home in like a half hour or so. And uh, they have made a plan to, Chelsea's like what, doing calisthenics with chickens out here? What is she doing? Oh, she's she got her a smoothie at Costco too. Um, I she was making plans. Ashley was making plans with her friends to have a late night a little girls' night at her friend's house instead of our house, like we did last week. Um, and I could see all these plans going back and forth between their text messages and stuff and I was like mm, but I haven't seen a message coming from mom <laughs> I'm friends with all the moms but then we ran into mom at Costco just now and I was like did you know your daughter's planning a late night at your house tonight and she's like oh yeah I totally was gonna text you because she's like I didn't know that she was gonna go to your house last week until like she was getting picked up and and I was like, that was my fault because it was kind of a rush decision and as long as she had permission from you, um, like as long as I heard from her verbally, it was okay, you know, with mom. And she's like, I know, but you didn't text me. And I was like, I know, I should have, but I was driving and I had to go drive and pick her up. So she's like, yeah, it's totally fine for her to come over. <laughs> she's like, but I agree that uh, oh, the battery's dead. All right, well. Obviously, I'm sitting down, I'm not doing much. Now you can see the true color on my arms here, the true sunburn. Really, it just hurts right here. So, anyway, I'm gonna just relax here for a second before she gets home, because she'll be like, what are we doing? She ha she'll have like an hour and a half before, Ashley will have an hour and a half before I can take her over to her friend's house. So it's keeping her doing something. Actually, what I should do is make her clean up all of her little mess is all over the house when the man gets a little anxious and stir crazy but he's already gone for a hike and gone to costco for the day i start dusting he starts to dust and he pulls out the vacuum so i convince him to pull all the couch cushions off and clean all that okay, you gotta go i know you i know you told me i couldn't do it until you're done listening to your i know i'm <laughs> watching my phone um i'm waiting to take ashley to her friend's house Ashley, are you coming? Uh, are we going? Yeah. I've only asked her if she wanted to go like a million times. Um, so. Hope that was the door. What do you mean? A little squeaky fart. It was the door. It was, <laughs> it was obviously a door. Grab a sweatshirt too. Do you want to grab like, um, I don't know find out how late you can stay um I just have been relaxing let's put you oh I think some of my flowers have popped open yeah, I are. did water them yesterday I need to get watered today oh they did a lot of them are kind of popping open over here see how many there are right here these two are open you can't see it let me see. go the other way there's two right there too. I, I got love these all pink ones. I'm glad I went with that. But I'm gonna water them now because it's the hottest day all year long, right, Ash? No. Yes. It's 82 today. You can think that. Huh? You can think that. It hasn't been this hot. No, it's been hotter. No, it hasn't. Thanks, babe. Yep, yep. All right, just dropped Ashley off. You're not gonna be able to see my face if I don't do that, but I can't see. Um, I just dropped Ashley off at her friend's house. She's gonna have a true late night. 
10 30 11 o'clock or so and then i'll go pick her up um they're all very excited um but chelsea <laughs> poor thing is in a lot of pain she's been um trying to eat she's like i had a donut for lunch but it took me a long time to eat it but it tasted so good um and she just tried to eat some strawberries and she's like i just had to put it in my mouth and squish it with my tongue and that's just not nice she's like can you just get me another milkshake and so i think i'm just going to um get another gallon of ice cream maybe a little bit more and just kind of hide a little bit some in the outside freezer um uh hang on one second Hang on, I've got to text this person real quick. All right, we are watching Daisy, Dear Daisy, and um, the, anyway, it's kind of a mix of the, the couple uses a daycare service because their company um, pays for doggy daycare. <laughs> if you've ever heard of that, it's called Rover. Um, because the uh, workers were like, well, people get like, like daycare for like their kids if we have to travel why can't we have doggy daycare if we have to travel so they have rover and so they're using rover for part of the time they're taking vacation and uh so the rover people are dropping daisy off to us tomorrow um and i was just making sure they had our address so um all right so i'm gonna go in and i'm gonna get some ice cream but i'm also gonna get um i forgot to get some juice at costco today um, cause I'm going to have strawberries and bananas, uh, frozen strawberries and some bananas. Um, and I think there's another bag of frozen fruit mix in the freezer. Um, that way tomorrow and Sunday we can make her some smoothies at home. So we stopped buying them. We brought her home one from Costco today, but in that way she can just kind of make them this weekend whenever she is hungry. Um, I also got a pineapple at Costco because we can maybe do a juice with some of the carrots she can no longer chew. <laughs> I have a whole double bag of carrots from Costco, not thinking she couldn't chew through them anymore. So that's a lot of carrots for me to go through. So I'm going to use some of them this weekend if I have time to make her a fruit drink with carrots because it tastes best with carrots and apples and a little pineapple. That's the juice that we've made in the past that tasted the best. Um, so, but for right now, she just, ice cream, my dad will always say, he was a pediatrician, ice cream is always the medicine. It's got good nutrients and it'll get them through a couple days until they can eat again, whether you have the flu or a sore throat or a strep throat or any number of things. Ice cream is always the answer, especially when it's 82, 80. Six. It says it's 86. It's 86 in May. We've gone from 40 to 86. That's insane. So, and it's supposed to be a Northern Lights night. We're supposed to see that because we're in path and it's clear skies. So, maybe later tonight we'll actually be able to witness that. Wouldn't that be cool? Not really doing a good job today. <laughs> I got Chelsea some ice cream and. I got some juice to add to make a smoothie for her tomorrow. And what else did I get? Oh, I got a pizza for Jason and I. She can't eat anything solid tonight. She's the only one at home. Abby's at work, Kaylee's at Jacob's, I'm assuming. So it's just the two of us. We're just gonna have some pizza and we're watching episode four, season three, episode four of Clarkson Farm. Um, it's the one show we saved to watch together, so that's kind of fun, and we're just, yeah, we're just kind of hanging out. It's kind of nice. As much as I like hanging out with Ashley and like doing things with her and stuff, sometimes it's a little overwhelming to like keep that girl entertained. Yeah. What, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So it's nice, yeah, but she has other places to go and play, so... Friends. Friends. Uh, she's just, I don't, she doesn't have any plans for tomorrow. So that could be a problem. <clears throat> but that was nice. Um, yeah. How do we know, like, what time the, the Northern Off. Lights would be going? Like, uh, probably when it gets dark, we'll check. We're on the, very, very, uh, like, we're on the very edge 
of like of where the, it might the be. the big ring across. It's more the East Coast over the Atlantic, over Europe, and over into like Yeah, Russia. but it showed us like a huge swath across, like all of Washington. Huge yeah. like swath. Well, the thing I saw, we're on the edge. Okay, well, north, it was all of Washington. North, north, uh, eastern Washington, I think better than where we're at. We're right on the edge of where it's at. Anyways, okay. I say we go out when it gets dark. All right. Because, I mean, I've seen it a bunch growing up. I have never seen it. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. If and we've got it. blue skies still, I think. Yeah, clear skies. So maybe we'll get to see them tonight. Who knows? Come on. All right, we are doing a little night mission here to see if we can go up and see some of the northern lights or the aurora. Yeah. It's you already saw a whole bunch of people down yeah, on the street. Yeah, a bunch of people down there. We picked up her, Ashley. She's back. back. Three of the girls in back. Can't Why see them. Because it's further up, get the away darker. from the lights. Got to get away from the lights. But there's a bunch of people up there. So we'll see what we can get. I don't know if we'll get anything on camera, if we'll be able to get it, but we'll see. So I don't know if you can see me at all. <laughs> Uh, we found a good little spot and uh, let's see if we can get any light from my car to shine on me or the moon. Here's the moon. Here, come shine your, oh, you have your iPad on you. Um, it's, they're not here. We might see them. We might not. We have to be patient. Down there where they are. They wouldn't have stayed down there. No, we're just trying to have dark sky, like no lights, no city lights. So we're just trying to wait and see if we see anything. All right, so I am kind of capturing it with this camera, but I have to turn my ISO up really high. Um, so I'm gonna try and just take photos. Um, you can see it when you like are looking at it in your camera. I'm gonna try and um, just got my phone out; it was charging. Um, so I'm gonna try and just do some pictures for you really quick. But I'm gonna shut this door so we can get the light to go away. So. All right, this is crazy. You can see it on the camera now. It's like really coming out. Can you see that? That whole streak. Can't believe I can capture it here on this camera. It's crazy. Gosh. <laughs> Way to ruin the mood, car. All right, that's so cool. Look at that. It's like bright purple. That's so cool. This is insane. Look at that. That looks so cool. And then you do like the comparison, like normal sky and then like the bright pink. And it's not even it's so cool. This is the other direction. Yeah, the green is on the bottom. So cool. I'm just gonna try and go all the way around here. Gosh, it's so cool. It's like we can barely see it in the sky, but when you turn your camera on, it totally comes out. Right, Ash? I don't have so many good photos. Are you? Well, it's really pink back there. I know. Yeah. Back there. I know, it's way cool back here. Well, that's even green over there. Gosh, the colors just keep, I mean, they're still pink and green, but like, it just well, changes like location. Color. It's yeah. crazy. Pink is rare, it's usually just green. And it's cool to see with the tree, like yeah. outline. Electromagnetic something. And then the pink over here. I could do this all night, man. Hey. Okay. Red appears um, in the aurora. Borealis. Right? Okay, go ahead. Um, when solar particles react with oxygen at higher altitudes, generally above 150 miles. It's pretty cool, huh?
That's why I fade into this bitter taste I think I'll let it be